Welcome back to another episode of the RTG here with Bolton. We are in still January. We're still in the transfer window, and thank the Lord we are. We are sitting first in the transfer window with 56 points. We have two mil, three mil left to spend because we didn't really spend that much last episode. It was a bit of a weird episode to put it to perspective. We are back now, full episode here, back to normality, hopefully for the most part. Yeah, we're sitting in first and talking about back to normality. Well, not back to really normality, at least for our players. The guy we just bought in, a Joe boy, he's out already. We played one game off camera and he got out. Mendez Gomez, you already know he's been out. He had a broken toe. Those two positions, we kind of need wingers. We don't really have the best of wingers. And in fact, we even loaned out Ethan and Warrior our cam. We loaned out Ethan Warrior as our cam. He got loaned out to Legonauts for the season. Simon has been loaned out. He's plus 10, but that is from changing his position in the actual youth academy from right back to right winger. So that's really only there. But yeah, um, if we go down all the way here to the injuries, we have Mendez Gomes who's out for seven weeks. So he's only out for two months, but those two months are going to be a very crucial two months. Magholm is back in two weeks from his ACL injury from early on in the season so he'll be coming back the best player of our team when he was there when he was playing he was the best player a million percent and then David Ajobai ACL injury so him and Mendes going or him and Mahoma just tore tore their ACLs and now he's out for the rest of the season so the new guy we just bought in to be our new winger because we needed a new winger because we didn't want to play Williams as our new winger because he was a left wing back. He was doing great at, as a right winger. We need some new wingers, so we are going to go shopping before we get into the Shrewsbury game. Now, first off, since I can loan players back in thanks to the game fixing itself over the weekend here, we can loan back Calvin Ramsey. We're going to loan him back into the team, so him and Darcy's Cogley, I do not want to loan to buy. I did not want a loan to buy. We're just going to deal with the loan to buy. We're not going to buy him at all. We're going to try and get them to pay at least 60% of the wages. They'll say yes to that. 2.9, you, you can have the transfer fee. We're not going to buy him at the end of the season. Calvin Ramsey will look to join the squad. You can see Gordon, who we try to bring in. How much did we spend on this guy? We spent 240k plus the swap deal of Will Forrester. So this might go down as one of the worst deals in history because it wasn't even a player I wanted initially anyway. But we're stuck with him now, and he is, well, we're not really stuck with him anymore because he's out injured. Next up is a winger on the left-hand side. This one, we can do a loan to buy for this one. See if they say they do say yes to the loan to buy. Can they do a two-year loan to buy? They might say no. Yeah, that's what I thought. A, a, a short-term loan to buy. Leo Sauer, 18 years old from Feyenoord, 68 overall at the minute. He is a decent prospect. Not really well known in world football at the moment, but I believe give him at least a year or two. I think it definitely could be possible. We are going to try and get him for 2.7 million here. Add on selling clause 15%. We'll see what they say to that. They went 8.9. They just jumped from 3 million to 8.9. We're going to have to submit it and accept it. We're not going to be able to buy him at the end of the season, but that is fine. He will at least still hopefully come into the squad and I'm at the wait a week for the right winger because I completely messed up so Williams is gonna have to play right winger for Shrewsbury and in fact Leo Sauer doesn't want to join the club so that's already failed so step square two which I don't have a square two or plan B this is plan B trying to bring in young Nestor Iquadana Initially from Adelaide United, I believe, in Australia. He got a move over to Barcelona, I'm assuming, in the first transfer window in the summer. We're going to try and loan him out here towards Bolton. It, this does make it that tiny bit mi a bit more unrealistic, loaning him in from Barcelona. But if he comes through, then that would be great. That's plan B. He would go on to the left-hand side for Mendes Gomes because he's right-footed. We can cut him in, curl him, finesse him. Train him up to be a little bit of a finesse genius, at least for the half season. We got him, and maybe maybe buy him in the summer. And Calvin Ramsey, welcome back to the squad. I actually enjoyed playing with him, so he will be our starting right back. He doesn't have to be because he's here now, but he will be our starting right back because he was decent when I was playing with him, when I was kind of forcing myself to play with him. He wasn't half bad, so he can come in. He could be a starting right back for sure. 
And he joined the club. He did not decline it. So plan B worked. Irakna 2 will join the club. I'm going to mispronounce his name. Irakna 2? Irakunda. He will join the club for six months. He will go on to the left-hand side. And he will replace Mendez Gomes for now. Whether or not he can actually stay there. It's up to him and Mendez Gomes. When Mendez Gomes gets back healthy. We are going to go ahead and quick sim this game here, though, against Shrewsbury. And it's a 1-1 draw, Garbet and Yudoa. So we, we draw it there. We stay top of the table. That's all that matters. Stay top of the table, stay in the top two. We're well off the top two, by the way. In fact, we have an FA Cup game now against Crystal Palace to worry about. And the final player that we might bring in. At least if I'm a lone player for sure this season, we have the new right winger to replace the new right winger. Ben Doick will join the squad from Liverpool. He will join on loan alongside his teammate Calvin Ramsey. He'll be here for the next six months, and he'll spend the next six months down the flank on that right-hand side. Hopefully, doesn't there is ACL in the first couple of games that we have him. That would be unfortunate. It's FA Cup action here against Premier League side Crystal Palace. This is their starting 11. They have Johnston, Minoys, Richards, Talkins, Tompkins, Trufer, Ozagi, Dokore, Eze, Franca, and Jefferson. Is that a back five? Yeah, it is a back five. Show that, yeah. It's a back five. Five, two, two, one. It's a very weird formation. And for us, it's an unchanged besides the new boys. Doik and Iwakunda on the left-hand and right-hand side. We have Ibega as our permanent starting center back as well as Ramsey as our permanent starting right back. At least for this season, obviously, these all three guys, three of those guys are just for this season. Ibega might even be just for this season as well. He's 31 years old. We just bought him in on for free because we could have. Actually, we bought him on for pretty much free. It was like three, four hundred k This is not going to go well. I can kind of already tell, but it will be going well for at least for me to try out the new guys. That would be great. Garbert. Hopefully Garbert. I didn't like him the first game I played with him. So hopefully he can step up. Because I could always just recall Ethan and Wari. Because Ethan Wari has been on fire for us. And the game feels very, very weird. It feels very sluggish, and we might be down 1-0 already. We are down 1-0 already. Franca will find the back of the net. Baxter can't save that one. We're down 1-0 already. As in now, he'll dust Santos. Santos will get back as they kind of allowed it to happen. Now Manoise. Still Manoise in the box. Santos trying to put him down, and he will put him down, but for a penalty. Not the way I wanted him to put him down, but hey-ho, it be what it be. It's a penalty. It's for Eze. He'll panicker it down the middle. It's 2-0 for Crystal Palace. Eze turning off the defenders. Ramsey will get back to Liverpool defending. Shows his Premier League experience a little bit that he does have because he spent maybe 10 days this whole season back at Liverpool. 15 days. The whole season at Liverpool. He's been in League One the whole entire time. Is Doic down the wings? Is Doic? Can he get something? No, he'll get a goal kick for Crystal Palace. If we can somehow get one back before halftime. Ramsey, Doic, Garbit, Irakunda. Irakunda, use your pace to get away from the defender. Near post. Saved by Johnston. Cleared by a defender. That was our best chance to score all game, and we might get one more here. It's Thomason into Morley, and Morley will just lose possession of the ball. We'll go halftime down 2-0 to Crystal Palace, kind of as expected. We had one decent chance there, and that was about it. True for Is that going to be another penalty? It will be another penalty. It will be another penalty here. It's Eze to take it. Eze will go left. Doic did well there to get past his defender. And Doic now in the box. Doic, Garbit blocked for Collins. And Collins just didn't want to shoot the ball. 
We take him on for Learburn and he does absolutely nothing. Into Jebison. Jefferson now into Trufer trying to make it for Ramsey won't allow that to happen. It is a loss. Our FA Cup journey is over as expected though against Crystal Palace. A 3-0 loss. That is unfortunate. But hey ho, it was a good it was good debuts for Irakunda. It was a it was honestly not that great of a debut for Dilwick. Garber is still not is still not impressing me. And that is us for the transfer window. We are locked in and loaded for the rest of the season. Now what I am going to do, I'm going to spend that $2 million on the youth staff. I'm going to start implementing a little bit more of Youth Academy. In fact, we might have to employ or buy another guy. We might just have to keep this guy. This guy is half decent here. We are going to go to England for three months because that's pretty much all that's left of the season. It's like four or five. So there's no point in doing more than three. So we'll let him go. We'll try and get some youth talents in here. We're not going to overload this career mode with youth academy players, at least until way down the line when we're five, six, seven seasons deep in, and then that's when it's majority of that. But yeah, for now, it's that. His position change. He goes up to a 70 overall. Like, look at his stats. He said his form is poor. He's played one game. I mean, it wasn't that great of a game on terms of on the team itself, but he played great. Um, I don't really want to improve his weak foot, or his, I can improve his skill moves. And he could be a wide player, playmaker. We can improve his crossing, because why not? And we are going to go ahead and play this game against Cambridge United. They're not the best team to be playing against, but hey-ho, let's get some game experience. Let's get these boys some more minutes. Let's get Mac Homa back in the starting 11. He's back. In that starting 11, he will replace Morley, at least for now. We might change Thomason out for Morley on a different game. But Yarakunda down the left-hand side. Doic on the, down the right-hand side. Garbit, I'm not going to lie. You only have a couple games left to go before I drop you completely and bring back Ethan Awari from loan already. It will be a month-long month month loan for Ethan Awari before he comes back into the team. Irakunda putting the pressure on in Irakunda now. Irakunda into Leaburn. Leaburn with the header. It actually goes past the goalkeeper and Bolton have the lead. It's 1-0 for Bolton. Irakunda's with his first assist for the club here. Quick. Into Leaburn. Leaburn now out wide for Ogbeta. If he can get there first, he does. A heavy first touch into Leah Byrne, and Leah Byrne just runs away from the ball. Ibega down to Mac Homa. Mac Homa now. Oh, how I've missed you. Oh, how I've missed you. Mac Homa into Irakunda, and Irakunda straight into the goalkeeper. I've missed Mac Homa so much. Oh, my God. Irakunda's taking the corners. Leah Burns on the header. No. Garbit on the other header. That one's blocked and cleared by a defender. Ben Doek from outside the box. Is my circle, is my shoot button not working? What's happening here? Cousins now into Kai Kai. Bonnie now in Ibiego. That's great work out of you, Sebastian. Now switching the field old better. Can we get a second right before the break? Thomason. Maghoma. If anybody can, Maghoma can't. And they might get the leveler right before halftime. It might go from good to worse. Almi de Santos and Ibega there linking up. And Irakunda, as long as he can get past the defenders here, the referee might allow him to play on. Irakunda into Leah Byrne, and Leah Byrne now, he's going to take it down the left, and he's going to cut inside onto his right foot, straight at the goalkeeper. Halftime, 1-0. Leah Byrne on the score sheet. Irakunda with his first assist for the club. Garbit. Irakunda, Leaburn into Doic, and Doic now 
And Bendoic to make it two off the top of the crossbar. And Bendoic says, welcome to the club. I haven't been impressed with him at all on his start here. It's very, very, very early start to Bolton life. But I haven't been impressed with him. And he has the first goal now. He scored a goal before Eric Kunda has. They want a consolation goal. It's not really a consolation goal because there would be enough time for them to get that second if they scored before the 83rd, 84th. So as long as we can keep them before past 85th minute before they score, if they score, that would be great. And it's looking like they aren't looking to score because they had the chances to shoot multiple times there. They look like Arsenal. Irakunda now keep that in play. Use that acceleration to burst away from the defenders. And Irakunda now down the byline. Cut back for Leah Byrne. And Leah Byrne, he'll shoot. 3-0 for Bolton. And Irakunda with his second assist. Leah Byrne, he's taking a while to get his shots off, but he's getting them off finally. Oh, we might just give him a chance to get a consolation goal. I did offside trap way too late, and they will get that consolation goal. But it won't matter. It's a 3-1 win. The clean sheet just is gone. That's unfortunate for back, so that's completely on to me. But a 3-1 win there against Cambridge. Irakunda with two assists. Leah Byrne with two goals off those two assists. And then Ben Doak is also on the score sheet for the first time. So the new boys, the young boys doing it all. We have a very young attack at the moment as well. We're going to actually end the episode there. When we come back, we have Darby County. A title deciding game. This would put us firm favorites to win the league with less than 10 games left to go. Or 13 games left to go here. And then we'll get through some more action. We'll probably get towards the start of March, maybe even mid-March, depending on how this game against Derby County goes and all the other games here. So leave a like and subscribe. We'll be back tomorrow. No, we will be back on Wednesday or Thursday with this video, with this series. Wednesday, something different, something Euro-related, possibly. Maybe. Unless it's coming out on Wednesday. There's a chance this next episode doesn't happen at all. All right, leave a like, subscribe, and peace out.